Hello and welcome to another um, math video where I'm going to explain to you what it deals with vectors, what do we do with them, and essentially we're going to go to the equation of the two-dimensional line. So remember, vectors are just movements. So movements for what? To go where? Well, we can go to points, from one point to another point, etc., and we can move around lines. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, uh, we can calculate things in three-dimensional thanks to vectors, things related to points and lines using vectors. That's going to be our useful tool also. So let's figure it out because we can calculate angles, distances, movements. So what is the equation of the line? Now, remember, we know a way to represent the line in two dimensions already. If I give you this line here, you can simply draw a graph with it, right? You already know this. That's great. So, you know, you can look at the slope. You know that roughly you have your rise divided by run. So roughly when you move, if you're at this point here and you move one unit to the right, how many do you have to move to find the line again? You have to move plus two to find the line. And that's why your gradient is here, the slope. And this one here is where it cuts the y-axis, right? So 2x minus 1 would be this line over here. And all the points in this line satisfy that equation, and that's why this is an equation of that line. So we're going to do a different way of writing this using vectors. So what we're going to do is first we're going to move to this line from wherever we are, okay? We always start at the origin, remember? So let's find a way to do it. Okay, we're the origin. Here we are. Now, first of all, let's move to a point in the line. Why not, for example, this point here? Let's go to the line. There we go. We made it to the line. What do we do? We took vector 1, 1. That's the vector that took us to the line. There we are. Now we made it to the line. Great. So now let's move along the line. Well, what can I do? Well, I have to move, find a vector that moves along this line. Vector minus 1, minus 2 moves along the line, and now I made it here. So there you go. If I take this vector now and then I take this vector here, I get to this point, and this point is on the line. Now, moving 1, 1, and then minus 1, minus 2 takes me to a point on the line. But what happens if I move this vector here, the second one, the one that moves along the line, if I move it twice, or three times, or minus one time? Well, if I move it twice, I would go, okay, 1, 1 here, and then two times this one, 1, and two, I would make it here. Three times, I would make it down here. And if I make it the other way around, I would make it here. So you see, I'm getting to all these different points in the line just by moving this, right? We can go anywhere on the line just by multiplying this vector here times a number. So what's the vector equation of the line? Remember, it's an alternative way of writing the equation of the line. So we can write the equation, this line here, in the following way x, y, which are any pair of points that are in this line, is going to be first my position vector, 1, 1, plus any number, this lambda here means any number, times the direction vector, which is the vector that moves along the line. So I give any values to this lambda thing, and I move along it. So this one's going to be the position vector to get, first of all, from the origin to anywhere in the line, and then minus 1, minus 2, the direction vector just a vector that moves along the line, and it doesn't matter which one. This type of line equation is particularly useful in three dimensions. In two dimensions, the other one is quite probably going to be a lot more useful. So what can we do with this? We can write this in different ways. For example, if I have this equation here, I know that the x-coordinate is always going to be given by this. Right? This is going to be always the x-coordinate, and this is always going to be the y-coordinate. And we call these the parametric equations of the line, and this is going to be useful. Uh, if I solved for lambda, and this is just a curiosity, because actually this is not in your syllabus, I would end up with these things here. And I could say that this is equal to this, and that would be called, if I just operate this, my good old traditional equation of the line. So you see, I can get the same thing starting from here. And that makes sense, because after all, they are the same line. So here's an idea of an exercise. They give me two points, and they ask me for the vector equation of the line. How do I do that then? Well, quite simply, I need a vector to go from the origin to the line. Well, how about the vector that goes to point A? And I'm going to need a vector to move along the line. How about the vector that goes from A to B? So here's my position vector, 1, 2. 
have to go through the origin to point A, and vector B moves along the line, so all I have to do is do B minus A, and that's going to give me minus 2, 3, and hence, that's my direction vector, and the equation of the line would be this one here.